Mike f***ing Barnes. Arguably the most insane character in the Karate Kid slash Cobra Kai universe. In Karate Kid 3, Mike Barnes legit tormented Daniel for a quick buck and went to very extreme measures just to take this man down for his very own entertainment. This man was literally the Nappa equivalent of Cobra Kai, and seeing that Mike Barnes was returning in Season 5, I was afraid he was going to be the obstacle in the way for Daniel to overcome, but that's not what happened at all. The conflict was solely between Daniel and Terry, with Daniel involving Mike because he believed Terry would go on to call him. Which is funny because I thought so too. Daniel tries to stop Barnes from making a call with Silver until he realizes he wasn't even calling Silver, he was calling his wife. And for the context of this situation, Daniel is basically trying to stop Terry in any way from trying to expand his dojo with new senseis. And he had the right to assume that Mike was one of the senseis, but Mike wasn't. He actually dropped karate ever since Daniel dropped him on his head. And it's shown that Mike Barnes is a furniture store owner. After the events of Karate Kid 3, instead of building up that hate after losing, he hit rock bottom similar to Johnny. And also similar to Terry himself, since he managed to build himself back up and actually find a new purpose, but unlike Terry, never fell back down the dark path. Terry fell back down because of Crease, but he believes to be better than ever now. Mike Barnes actually managed to find himself the first time and even admitted he wanted to apologize to Daniel all those years ago. And honestly, this was the best decision they could have made for the character. Before this, Mike Barnes was literally just a bag of rage. If he were to be evil and actually help Silver out, I feel like that's not only too predictable, but it would split focus on the Silver conflict since he is the main enemy for Daniel to overcome this season, and season 4 was mainly just setting him up to be that said main villain. Imagine they just followed up with season 5, where we'd have the focus split on two villains, that'd be kind of dumb. Instead, Mike isn't a one-dimensional rage monster who seems honestly like a good guy, and we see him joking around with Daniel, like play fighting with him, and then we see Chosen running in guns blazing and attacking Mike. And despite seemingly not fighting for a while, this version of Mike still does very decent against Chosen, despite being off guard initially too. Chosen legit kicks his knee in and Mike Barnes is still somewhat relative with Chosen and engaging in combat with him. And I really do enjoy the interactions between Chosen and Mike Barnes since Chosen being someone who also found his place after Daniel defeated him, but it's kind of funny since they don't get along at all since Chosen thrashed him and his employees. He'd even help Daniel out by giving the lawyer's number to expose Silver of their contract, but this leads into Mike Barnes' store getting burnt to a crisp. And it's kind of funny because the show just kind of cuts Mike Barnes out the story for a bit and we don't see him until the last episode. But anyways, it's revealed Mike would go broke and would initially go after LaRusso whenever he, Chosen, and Johnny are out partying. And this leads into Johnny and Mike interacting and getting into a little scuffle before Daniel then breaks it up and explains the context of the situation. And may I just add, I love how Mike, Johnny, and Chosen are all on the same page in beating up Silver as they are all somewhat foils to Daniel in a way, not being the calm type. We even see Mike, despite getting off guard at the start, doing decent against the senseis and even saved Johnny in the end. Two former Cobras fighting alongside each other with Chosen as well having a funny dynamic with Barnes is the best thing that could have happened for the character and I'm genuinely just happy Mike Barnes came in and Kanan outdid himself if I'm being honest. I hope to see more of Barnes in the future, maybe if Kreese comes back as the main villain for season 6 we might get a little more of him, but we will see how that goes down. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys once again for watching this video and my analysis on Mike Barnes in Cobra Kai Season 5. Even though his time on the show was very short, I'm glad to see him actually being incorporated in the Cobra Kai universe, and they did it in a way that I did not expect. Let me know down in the comments what other videos you'd like me to make in the near future. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and hit the bell icon, along with following me on Twitter, which will be linked in the description. Thank you guys once again, and enjoy your day, ladies and gentlemen.